Hi everybody, it's Julie, and this month for the newsletter article, I am focusing once again on watercolor because I just love it and it's all the rage right now. And when I did my original watercolor article a few months ago, the Peerless hadn't come into the shop, but we've got them now and I finally got my hands on a set that I could play with. And these are the small, um, this is the small bonus pack and it has 40 colors in it. And the unusual thing about Peerless watercolors, they've been made for over 100 years. And what they are is an intensely concentrated mineral dye. They're not pigments. And they're loaded onto these sheets of like, um, they're like carrier sheets of paper or fabric, um, kind of, um, that's what they're made of. And the colors are super, super intense and concentrated. But the tricky thing with these is that you really don't know what you're getting when you look at the colors on the sheets. You know, that's not going to be exactly what you get. And I could make an educated guess by flipping it over and looking on the back side. So I could kind of tell, yeah, this is going to be some shade of purple. But when you look at that, can you tell that it's going to be that shade of purple that's on the back side? So you take another look and it, yeah, it's kind of challenging to figure that out. So I realized I needed to make a palette and I kind of did some research online and found that a lot of artists were making their own um, swatch book of a sort or a palette that they could uh, take with them. It's portable. So I spent some time thinking what size I wanted to make mine and came up with a grid that would accommodate some one inch squares of these colors. So I've already predetermined, you know, I'm going to fit 40 of them onto an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and I pre-cut a piece of nine by 12 watercolor paper down to um, eight and a half by 11 and then I printed it on my printer and just fed it through the rear of the, you know, I have a rear feed or a rear uh, paper tray on my machine that will help me um, avoid jamming my paper printer. So now that we've got it all printed out there and I've scored the center of it because I want to be able to fold it in half to make it even more portable so I can take it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some Be Creative tape there in each square. So once that's ready, um, I can start mounting things. And I already took the Peerless sheets and I cut them down to one inch squares. You could also use a square punch. And then I sorted them by color family, roughly, because I'm flipping them over and looking at the backside and kind of, you know, making an educated guess, like I said, at what color they're going to end up being. But as I started to build my palette, I decided I really wanted to get a better indication of what color I was getting on each of these squares. So I took my water brush and I just tested them on some scrap watercolor paper very quickly as I started mounting them. So I'm not using a lot of paint here, but it's a good idea to kind of test them and just make sure that you're getting them um, arranged in the color in the color range that you want. So I'm kind of going in a rainbow here. I started with yellow and I went to orange and red and purple and then blue. And just as I was going, I could tell like well, this was way more red than I thought it was going to be. And this was more orange or this was more yellow. And that just really helped me kind of keep some continuity with my palette. And here you can see as I was testing them all out, this, you know, this is what I was getting. And so I could kind of rearrange the colors as I was mounting them down and get them into an order that I liked. And then, um, According to what I've seen other people doing, I wanted to put a clear um, piece of plastic or acetate there in the center along the gutter crease there. And this is going to be cut to eight and a half by five and a half. So it fits right inside the whole palette. And I'm just going to crease that there with my bone folder and make sure I've got it nice and, uh, you know, nice and crisply folded. And that's not going to buckle when it's mounted to this gutter crease there. And I'm using washi tape. You could, you know, use whatever you like, you know, there's book binding tape and things like that, but I have lots of washi tape on hand and I love it. So that's what I'm using. And it's temporary. If I want to remove that, I can um, peel it out easily without destroying the whole book if I change my mind and, and want to remove it. So I'm just going to sandwich it in there and put the washi tape on each side so that I can create kind of a flap and the acetate will go flip back and forth really easily and it's not going to create any additional bulk inside the palette. And then I'll just trim off the excess there off the ends. And there you can see um, I've got my clear sheet there and I can just flip it back and forth and it works great for mixing colors and it also protects each side of the palette from rubbing against each other whenever I close it. 
And then now the fun part starts. You can just take your water brush, and this is my favorite way to use it is to take my water brush, but you could use a regular brush and a cup of water. But I love using my um, water brushes, and this is so fun to just kind of create the swatches and see what the colors actually are. And then I'll have a nice guide anytime I'm watercoloring with this palette. And that particular color, I was just stunned at how that purple um, that deep, deep purple ended up being like a jade green on when you actually painted with it. So here you can see, you know, they're not very attractive, these little squares of color, these sheets of watercolor. But then when you paint them, oh my gosh, they are just absolutely stunning. And it's so fun to have the whole book. I was just like petting it because I was so happy. <laughs> It's like it turned out awesome I love it and of course um, I had to start uh, painting a card right away I couldn't wait so I took a little piece of watercolor paper and stamped um, a flower on there this is by Savvy Stamps it's their one of their new um, flowers from their recent release it's um, the posies and I just stamped it with stays on because I needed a bleed proof ink and these colors just instantly activate the minute the water touches them. So you do want to make sure that your hands are dry when you're handling the sheets themselves. But I just found that um, the water on the tip of my brush activated very quickly and I just dabbed against a paper towel to clean off the brush when I wanted to switch colors and avoid contamination. But the colors just kind of blend on their own. They're very translucent, um, very vivid, and I just loved how rich the colors were and saturated, and I just thought they were super fun to play with. I absolutely love them. Love how my card turned out, and I'm so tickled to death to actually have this palette that I can take with me anytime I want a watercolor. If you'd like to make your own Peerless watercolor portable painting palette and swatch book, you can go to the classroom blog. I'll have the link down below in the video description, and you can download the PDF that I created for mine. Thanks for watching.